Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and today I will show you how to create a landscape in Unreal Engine 5. This is a beginner level tutorial, and uh, I will show you basic tools uh, and how to create this uh, landscape easily. Also, I will cover the height maps, uh, which will allow you to even faster create your environment, and uh, it's very easy to do. So, without further ado, let's start. Of course, the first step is to create a level. I will go with the games and uh, go with the third person, name it, for example, my project 4, and click create. Here we are in Unreal Engine. This is a third person template. For those who are new to Unreal Engine, uh, check out how to navigate in Unreal Engine, or if you know how to navigate, you have a timestamp in the description below so you can skip it altogether and uh, start uh, on uh, creating a new level. Just a quick tip to move around the editor, hold down the right mouse button and use standard first person shooter keys. To go up and down, use Q and E. And while doing this, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to speed up or slow down the camera. If you are far from the object, use F to focus. To move objects, press W key and use the arrows. To rotate, press E key. And to scale it, press R. All these options are available at the top right corner. You can check all these shortcuts and more in the description below. Ok, uh, after we cover the navigation, we go to File. To create a new level, click New Level. And choose a basic. Click create. And first thing uh, I like to do when I create my level is to save it immediately because Unreal doesn't save this uh, automatically. So we need to manually go file and click save current level. And you can just leave this, name it, for example, new map. It doesn't matter right now. Just a quick tip, if your Unreal is uh, stuttering or it's a slow, go to settings. And over here under engine scalability settings, just uh, use low or medium uh, settings and you will be fine. OK, let's now create our landscape. To do that, we will uh, use a landscape tool over here in this drop down menu. Choose the landscape or press shift 2 on your keyboard. And we are now inside our landscape. You can see if you go up, how big is your landscape. If I hit F11, you will go full screen so you can preview your uh, things easily. And press F11 to go back. On the left side under the manage, you can see this create new. Over here we will create our landscape uh, with uh, this uh, create new option. And we can also create a landscape by uh, clicking this import from file. I will show you also how to create a landscape by importing from file. We will download a free Hate map, don't worry, it's very, very easy and you will see how to create uh, something beautiful in just a few steps. For the start, you can leave everything as it is. Uh, if you're a beginner in Unreal Engine, you don't need to worry about these options over here. You can just click create. As you can see, we have our landscape over here. Uh, you can see it also on the right side in the outliner. You can see the landscape. On the left side, you can see all the different tools that you can use to create your landscape. For example, the most common tool is this Sculpt tool. If you select it and uh, draw over your landscape, I will go F11, you can see that you can create some nice hills. A uh, good thing is if you hold Shift key, you can reverse this process so you can create some lakes. Very easy to do. Uh, you can see over here that we have our floor. I will go with the F11 and go back to the selection tool. Select our, our floor and delete. It. And now it looks better. Go back to the landscape mode with Shift 2. And uh, let's uh, check out our other tools. The next tool is uh, we can erase. For example, erase what we just did. Very uh, straightforward tool. Have a smooth tool. So we can smooth out uh, our uh, hills so they are not so edgy. For example, if I sculpt it like this, I can use the smooth tool to smooth it out. And if I go over here, right click and click play, you can position yourself on top of your hill. Just hit escape. The next tool is our flatten tool. This tool will make things flat. That's why it's called flatten. So if, I, if you drag from this flat surface, it will make a road, for example, or cut it like this. Or if you flatten from the top of the hill, you can make this nice hill like this. With the ramp tool, you can add ramp to your level. Just click it over here and click it on the top. And you are done. Just hit enter and you can see your hill over here. If I hit play, we can now move up to our uh, mountain. With the erosion, this will be our erosion. You can mimic some erosion. It says that uh, caused by the movement of soil from higher areas to lower areas. So that how the environment is falling down. Also, we have a hydro erosion. Uh, this is simulates erosion caused by rainfall. And uh, my favorite is noise. With noise, we can make some nice uh, 
randomized environment but you can see that our noise is not that uh, strong so we can go over here under the tool strength and increase the strength and noise scale and you can see that you can add some nice landscape randomized landscape like this just paint it and it will add, add some noise and if i click over here play from here you can see your randomized landscape very nice tool just play with the tool strength and the noise scale Okay, I will revert back to the reset this property to default value. If you need to reset something, just use this uh, back arrow. I will not touch these uh, other uh, tools because this is the main tools that you will usually uh, use when you're creating your environment. Now, let's go back to the sculpt tool and let's check out the brush type. For example, we have the simple circular brush. Over here, you can use different, for example, this checkered tool or you can work with uh, different landscape uh, parts like this. I will go back to the simple circle brush. And if I increase the size, huge mountains, or you can reduce the size and make some tiny, tiny details on your mountains. We have a fall off. If I increase the fall off, you can see how this change. So we can make, for example, increase the fall off to make a smoother transitions or reduce the fall off to make hard. You can see the hard transition of over here so to delete this everything you can use the erase tool increase the tool strength and erase everything for me very easy to do is over here go on the right side on the outliner and hit delete and we deleted our uh, landscape and just hit again create and we have our landscape back okay let's now make one simple uh, uh, landscape uh, i will use this noise reduce the tool strength, uh, noise scale, and increase the brush size. And increase the brush fall off because we want it to be smooth, for example, like this. And now just use just paint. Just paint everywhere, okay. And this is how you quickly create one uh, simple environment scene. Bigger mountains on the edge. And if I hit play from here, we have our environment very quickly e and easily to do with your uh, uh, landscape uh, tool. Uh, this is easily achieved by using a noise tool. That's how why I like this tool. So you can play it along or you can use the sculpt, erase, smooth and so on. And the next step is that we want to add some material to our landscape. To do that, go back to the selection tool. And over here, we don't have any materials. Right click over here and click add feature or content pack. And go over here, content select starter content and this starter content contains uh, basic uh, meshes shapes spheres tubes explosions sparks and so on very nice to uh, prototype your level just click add to project and wait for a second close it and under the left side you can see that it shows starter content click on it and you can go over here under the materials and you can see a bunch of different materials and to add our material make sure to select your landscape over here in the outliner or select it in the world and now just scroll down where it says landscape material and just drag and drop this material over here and after a few moments you can see your landscape uh, now has a different material if i click play from here and hit f11 you can see how it looks. Uh, if you're interested in a different materials, to adding different materials to your uh, level, you can check out this video tutorial. This will show you how to paint different layers so it looks better. Uh, for now, this is just a simple material to show you how it works. I will go F11 to go back. You can uh, again select your uh, landscape and choose a different material for this ground moss. You can play with this until you are satisfied with your level. If I go over here on top of the mountain and hit play, play from here, we are now at the top of the mountain and we can see our landscape around us. And this landscape looks uh, pretty nice. Okay, this looks good. Uh, it looks decent. You can work with this. You can smooth this. You can paint over this. You can add ramps. But it's nothing compared to the height maps. Those height maps are already pre-computed landscapes for you that we can use and download from the internet. On this uh, website, it's called motionforgepictures.com. Uh, you have a link in the description so you can check it out. You have a landscape height maps. These are basically a PNG uh, files of our landscapes. So you can choose your landscape over here. They offer a free landscape. And this is provided by the CC1 Universal Cre Creative Commons license. This means if I type in a CC1 Universal, just uh, let me show you what I mean. This means that you can, the person who associated the work with this deed, dedicated the work to the public domain, which means that 
uh, we can use this uh, landscape uh, however we want, even for commercial purposes. So this is a good uh, thing to know that you can use uh, public domain assets from internet without worrying about copyright. Uh, you can use it for your games, your films, um, for everything else. Make sure it's uh, under the public uh, domain uh, license and you are just fine. So let's uh, download something over here. Let's download our landscape. Uh, over here you can see the map resolution. This is a size of your map. So we'll choose something uh, smaller. For example, this one and click here to download. Uh, okay, download any from the Google Drive and we'll ju just uh, save it on our desktop. Over here you can uh, double click it to open it and you can see rocky land and rivers and we now have this XRR and but we are looking for a PNG and height map PNG.PNG .png, so just drag and drop it over here and go back to the Unreal Engine and we can now delete our landscape just select your landscape hit delete and go back to the landscape mode and over here we will go import from file select it and you can see this it says height map file so just find your height map file it's on your desktop height map png click open and it will open our height map you can see it over here it's a green but the magic happens when you go down don't worry about this data just click import and it'll take a little bit time because it's still a huge map but if you go over here for example i will go with shift one here play from here you can see your uh, level it's a huge level and it's looking very nice uh, and it's a perfect level for some open world games uh, you can populate this with uh, lakes forest and so on you can check out my videos of course i covered that for you uh, about the forest you can uh, do the old school way or you can use the pcg forest uh, this is a procedural generated forest it's uh, super easy and it will create a lot of forest in a very short time course you can go escape go back to the landscape mode and we can select our landscape as usual go to the landscape material and apply some nice for example this grass or you can add the rock so it looks like a moon or you can go with something uh, crazy over here you can add this metal and create some uh, some crazy and uh, otherworldly landscapes for your uh, game or your project and this is it. If you find this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments below. You can drop some subscriptions, uh, some likes and check out other videos. Uh, they are all beginner friendly and I hope they will help you learn Unreal Engine 5 uh, very quickly and very easily. Uh, until then, uh, stay good and have a nice day. Bye bye.